Hey guys, welcome to Rising Vibrations. I'm Inga. This reading will be for Leo. This is for the Leo elemental sign and energy, sun, moon, rising, as well as Venus for the first two weeks of September. If you're just joining me on the channel, thank you for finding me. And if you're returning, thank you for your support. It is appreciated. And as always, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you hate it, go ahead and hit the thumbs down, but please let it be for legitimate, authentic reasons and not just because. And I do appreciate your feedback. If you have any comments or if you would like any clarifications, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. It's always fun to get that kind of feedback. So this is for the Leo elemental sign and energy. I feel like life is a little bit haywire for the Leo elemental sign and energy it has been anyway so let's see what's coming in the first two weeks of September we have the king of coins a lot of Leos may have been overspending or possibly have under budgeted for something that they plan to do it can be something as small as a vacation uh, look at that I'm sorry guys this is very odd I thought it was the king of coins it's actually the king of cups However, the king of coins just flipped out. I'm not sure what that means. Let me see. I'm going to keep with what I just said. Like there's been a type of underestimating requirements or overspending to the pleasure of the Leo because they have enjoyed this time. They have been enjoying this time or this could just be a message coming through that the Leo needs to budget, make sure they're budgeting and planning. And if you've already started to overspend, you can still make a correction and stop. You can still stop now. It won't be that bad. But try to control and watch your spending. Uh, or retail therapy type actions. Oh, it's too. It's really interesting. We have the Ace of Wands and we have the Knight of Cups. Again, this is feeling a bit like retail therapy, realizing uh, or feeling better because of um, yeah, somehow spending money or what's going on with these cards? My goodness, we have the six of pentacles. So there is something here about. Um, being careful about the money that's being spent for the first two weeks of September or trying to budget or budget better or plan your money and your requirements for money better uh, trying to control the spending and only spending your money on the things you need not the, the things that you would like to have for the first two weeks of September coming out we have the page of swords I feel like someone will be coming forward to ask the Leo for help or for a favor that the person has already done it before this is a habit uh, and the uh, Leo may have the money to give to help but they don't really want to or this could be someone doing this to the Leo. The Leo may be coming forward to ask for help and maybe not just money, just help or advice or support. And the other person that who they come to uh, isn't there for them in the way that they need, even though they could be, if they wanted to. We have Major Arcana the Sun. I don't know why it's gonna show that there. Um, a Leo card somehow. Um, Leo, you're going to be okay. You know, it's like, I feel like the Leo is planning something or they're, they're trying to put something together even or budget for something or do something and it's not coming together quite how they want. It's like they're almost there, but they're coming up a little bit short. But you're going to manage to do this anyway. It's like you have to you have to replan it and you can scale something back or work around something and it's going to it's 
it's going to bring you where you want to be anyway. And something here also about coming full, full circle. Like you're going to get what you need anyway with this. Even though you, it's like you have to scale back. It's like, uh, do you have Moyet Chandon uh, for champagne or do you have... Um, uh, Verve Clicquot, or do you take a slightly something a little bit cheaper? It's like you can still have champagne. You don't have to have the best champagne. I don't know why that's coming across. So it's like once you realize that you can scale down or back a little bit, you can still achieve the same thing just with the something not as ex ex expensive. You're going to find the less expensive version of what you want so you're still going to reach this what you need to do and it's like you're going to be able to make money out of it anyway look at that i love that will of fortune so you're going to get to where you want to be anyway uh, this can also, I don't know why this is coming through, this can also go for bidding for a job. It's like even if you're bidding on a job or you gave someone a quotation for a prize for something and maybe you have to go a little bit lower than what you wanted. I feel like you'll get that work and then you're going to get the money anyway because maybe they'll have another follow-on job for you. Like they'll come back right around with more work or more job for you anyway. Or someone who doesn't back you up and help you like they leave you hanging and they are not there for you when you need them but you still you still push through and you still get it done and you get it done without them anyway or someone else comes through like it's so random it's like you have to go pick up something and do something and the person who was supposed to help you doesn't show up and then you're picking up and moving something and someone right on the street comes and say hey I'll help you move that so you get the job done anyway. That's the best way I can explain how the energy is around the first two weeks of September for Leo, just in a nick of time, in a nick of time. And also now the same thing with time coming, weaving in all of these readings, a message about time, just in a nick of time. Uh, let's see what else is coming through for Leo. We have the King of Wands. So we have the King of Cups. We have the king of coins. We have the king of wands. You're going to get the help you need. There's a lot of supporting energy or that doesn't come through a lot. I feel like there's a supporting energy or angels, a guiding light or protection and... Um, Around the Leo, like you can't fail, you won't, you, you just have a lot of like angels around you or support or uh, cosmic support or something like this around you over the first two weeks of September to help you get the job done, to help you make it, to help you have the strength even to keep going with this, look at that, eight of wants it's going to be okay so don't push too hard I don't know why this coming through don't oh jeez what's going on with these cards we have major arcana the fool I was just getting ready to say don't push too hard because it's like you don't need to you don't need to put too much thought and energy or worry If somebody disappoints you or falls falls through, just know it. Just be like, oh, I'm going to find a way. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. Because it's like you don't need to put too much time or worry into this anyway. Because it's going to go. Look at that. Queen of Wands. You're going you're gonna to get this. If this is about a relationship... I feel like a lot of people are interested in the Leo right now, but the Leo cannot be bothered. They just got their mind on other things. Or I feel like they're just trying to 
get their life back on track and just get their own fire back, get their own uh, energy back and get their self together. And they don't want this trouble. They feel like relationships are trouble or they can feel a certain type of trouble in relationships that, or potential for trouble and they don't want to deal with it. They got, they're, they're focused on, I want to keep that, other things right now. Look at that. Focus on other things right that. Ace of Swords. Something they got to do, they need to do, that will better them in their future or their prospects for their future. And they're not going to let anyone detour them right now. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords. Stay on top of whatever this is. Don't give up. Don't let it go. Don't give up. Don't let this go. It won't be there tomorrow. Whatever this opportunity that's sliding in, uh, don't squander this protection. Don't squander this opportunity because you feel downtrodden or you feel burdened or you feel let down. This will be your mistake. This is coming through so clear now. Uh-uh. Somebody lets you down, you better pick yourself back up and keep it moving because it's like easy to play the victim and say, oh, they did that to me. Now, I don't put as much energy into this because I'm going to lose it anyway, then you will. If you say, okay, I keep it going. I, I'm going to keep doing what I need to do. Yeah, you let me down, but something else will come through. It will. It's up to you. Oh, my ears are... It's going too strong. Give me a second here. We have the Six of Swords. So it's going to be okay. I'm going to pull a few more. I got to stop that reading now, guys. We have the full two times. It's such a one wonderful energy. And I feel like there's a lot of guidance and protection. Listen to your instincts. I'm going to go ahead and stop there because I'm getting too much uh, pressure on this. Listen to your instincts. Do not give up. Do not let someone uh, break you in a way with uh, trying to mess something up for you. Only you can mess it up. They can try, but it won't work because you have a lot of di divine protection. Uh, around you right now, Leo. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, guys. Sorry for the interruption in the uh, reading, uh, but I need to stop now. But thank you for joining me, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.